Um, in the meantime, we'll go on to another subject um, that I understand you wanted to... <laughs> this is quite um, interesting. What's this um, about personal space. I understand that you wanted to discuss, especially <laughs> the issue of guys personal putting space. their arms around you on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened to me. I swear it happened to somebody else, and he was not impressed. He wasn't impressed. He wasn't. He didn't. Look I'm impressed. not impressed. No, <laughs> your conduct. He, he he looked quite disgruntled. It was just basically I was on the bus going somewhere. again. Yes, I love the bus. The bus rider. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Anyway, uh, the renegade. Yeah, I make sure the bus runs on time. No. Anyway, so I was on the bus sitting at the back, um, facing the rear window, and you know you've got that long seat at the back. Mm-hmm. So there was one space at the, on that seat right in the corner. And it was next to this, you know, guy dressed in a suit, looked like he was going to work. He looked a bit mafioso looking, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Tony. Uh, yeah, that kind of, you know, dark green down his eyes and that kind of stuff. But then um, somebody else got on the bus. <laughs> and then there was uh, this young, slim, you know, breezed up guy. And he came, up. he looked like he'd been out in the town, he joined himself, you know, and he came and he sat there and squeezed himself. Drunk. He wasn't drunk, he was just, you know, that was his look. You know, he liked to be greased up and that's what he was doing. What do you mean? Was he like dripping in grease? He, he, he was oiled, Mike. Oiled. Said, yeah, Were oiled? Was well, he sculpted? He looked like he was... What was he wearing? He was wearing a tight... So I don't want to... I don't remember too... Well, I don't want to get too obsessive about this guy. Okay, well, no he one was, said you had to get obsessive. No, but, but remembering know. what he wore... It's been, this was quite a while ago. I mean, he had some Leaves kind of... Leaves a mark, does it? Yeah. Yes. Anyway. Okay. So, uh, anyway, so he got on a bus. He squeezed himself in the corner. And because everyone was so squeezed together, he couldn't really put his arms beside him. So he then chose to... Put his arms along the little back shelf. You know that back shelf they have on buses? Yeah. Yeah, he, he kind of left his arm there, but it was also was around this guy's shoulder that was sitting next to him. And I had to spend like the next 20 minutes on his bus watching this increasingly uncomfortable man sit there <laughs> with this complete stranger's <laughs> round, arm around say him. say something, man? Well, I mean, it's a bit like what we were talking but, about last week with the social convention. I mean, can you can you really complain about I something I think like you can. You don't have to complain. You don't have to like... Write, well, it wasn't like he was massaging the back of his neck write, or anything. You don't have just, to write to the arm etiquette on buses <laughs> ombudsman. Well, what right. do I do, sir? I'm confused. I don't think there's an ombudsman department for that. Deal with the problem, Mike. Uh, they'll sort but you. what you can do is say, Oi, do you mind? And what he says, I'm sorry, my friend, there's nowhere else for me to put my arms. I say, look, how about on your own lap? No, there's no space. You're pushed up too close towards my chest. No, you're pushed up. No, no, there's no space. It's a small space, my friend. There's nowhere else for us to go. We must just share each other's body. Move off the bus. (laughs) I cannot. I've paid my fare. I'm going to Piccadilly. Where are you going? (laughs) Maybe we can share a cab. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Let's wait until we get off the bus. Yeah? <laughs> I, I look forward to it. Good. I will you, be you, right you. behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, but that was it. I just, but the whole issue of personal space is like, I mean, obviously you can't really help that because you're sitting on the bus. There's nowhere else. You know, I mean, you can't tell me come out of the seat, man. Go and stand over there. That's kind no, of you should have put your angry black man look on your face, <laughs> and then so, that way, what? Yeah. Yeah, 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 that sure. whole 80s angry black man look. <laughs> yeah. Pose, yeah. And then. <laughs> hey, Sucker, what the it. hell you think you're doing? Yeah. That kind of. Yeah, that's scare it. Scare them, get in the face. That's the thing, Mr. T. Militant. Oh, but yeah. 80s Mr. T, not like the crazy fools, Mr. The T. Crazy now. fools. And I see it's some quite fools. sad. It's quite sad. And it's all crazy. Him, seeing him now. Mr. T. That. Yeah. He's not friending anyone across cars now, is he? Nah. Probably trying to. Hasn't open even the door. got a car. <laughs> so he's got a car. No, I'm sure. He's on the bus as well. I don't think he's got as many gold chains. Um, no, or I don't think they're real gold anymore. He must be some kind of costume, you know, electroplated. I hope stuff. they were real gold because his chest would be a mess. <laughs> oh, well, the rash come out. Yeah, yeah. Why no, would no, you wear it if you were like allergic to it? A bunch of black, brown grapes. Oh, out of his chest. that's wrong. Awesome. Maybe yeah. that's why he wore the chains. He's like, oh, I can't take it off now, can I? Oh, what am I going to do? I might as well just leave him on. Yeah, and then that's how he kind of got that look. You probably tried it for a day and that's Wasn't what happened. It, I just don't think that was a very productive look. No. Right? No. Spend your money on gold. Gold, that's what it is, son. Hey, yeah. kid, what you gonna do when you grow up? Make sure you buy some chains. Yeah. Gold. <laughs> gold. That's where you go. Look at me. I ain't no sucker. I got yeah. some chains. You wanna be a sucker? <laughs> then get some chains. Yep. I was like, oh, okay, Mr. T. Mommy, but, mommy. Yeah. I want a gold chain. Shut up. Yeah. Advertising yeah. chocolate when you're 60. <laughs> you <know? laughs> when you're well 60. Well, is how old is Mr. T, do you reckon? Probably. Was he advertising chocolate? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Y